gentlemen uh, I'm out here with Justin mowing a yard that I forgot on my route have you ever done that was in the area the other day completely forgot to do it but uh, I'll show a little bit of it to you that's the technically the back but you know the way the house is set up and there's the front there's a uh, mulch queen blowing off there's part of the front yard. Got a gentleman over there aerating, getting ready to seed and fertilize when he's done. Hey, I wanted to talk about today some of the things I don't like about my equipment. Since yesterday I talked about the product pushers and all this and that, let me show you some things I don't like about steel. Because I don't want everyone to think that because I use a product, it's all good, don't have any troubles with it. And let me tell you, I certainly do. The number one thing about this steel and any steel I've used is when it gets extremely hot, they are hard to start. You have to give it a little bit of gas to get it started on a hot day. It's a pain in my butt, but overall, I love the steel. Now, I use the Echo Speed Feed Heads. Yes, I said it, Echo. The bad thing about those, right here. This thing will waller out, and you have to replace it because the spring will just fall out of it. But that is the one thing about the steel I could uh, care less for. But overall, great trimmer. So there's one thing. Um, I'll talk about Green Touch next. Overall, love Green Touch. I know there's Equipment Defender. I know there's Jungle Jim or Jungle Jack or something like that out there. Look, there's all kinds. I love the green collar. It's just one of my favorite collars. But I will tell you some some negatives about it um that way people don't say well all you ever tell us are the good things about your stuff yeah there's there's not all good in every product so uh, and the steel blower the biggest thing i don't like about it it's a mother to get started during break-in period it, at least this one was what's up dude what's up are you ready for this? I am. Bring it. <laughs> Bring it. All right, we'll be back, guys. Alright guys, that one's done. So some of the things I don't like about Green Touch, let me tell you. This bad design. Bad design because that was uh supposed to go up there for an Echo 8010T. But when you put it up there and put your Echo hose up, it pinched it. Okay. The other thing 
this. That rattle, constant rattle. And when you put it to the base of just a flat piece of angle iron, it shakes back and forth. And you can tighten those bolts up all you want. It's still going to shake. Overall, nice quality. I like the locking system. I love that spring back handle. But this rattles too much for me. And on these, <coughs> I can honestly say I love them. Um, as anything, they're always coming out with something new. So I got the old model on that. But there's really nothing I don't like about, other than the paint, how it faded. But they fixed that. And, uh, you know, but the, my biggest gripe is with the blower cage. The sure can cage, look, it's pretty simple. It holds a can. I mean, I think I would like it if they made them for regular gas cans in, instead of sure cans. But I don't know that they don't. So, hey, I'm just letting you guys know not everything is a bed of roses on equipment. And we'll talk about, oh, and one more thing. Let me show you. This thing from Green Touch, you cannot keep that handle tight. The bolt is constantly having to be tightened. That is a terrible design. But overall, it holds trim line and it cuts it. I mean, what, what's the big deal? 20 some dollars. So, hey, let's get on to the next one. I'll see you there. guys that's done customer came out asked me if I could drop it down another quarter of an inch so we did uh, next week I will be bagging that yard and yes I do make more for bagging um, the next product I want to well first of all the skags I have no problem with this mower whatsoever um, it's a great mower so far now one thing yesterday this handle came off and I was like what the heck so they hadn't tightened the Allen screw down back there very tight but that's uh, when they're assembling it at the dealer um, one thing I want to say sure can they're awesome they're nice they're not $57 worth of awesome I can promise you that and the one thing, I'm going to set you back here. Sorry about the blower. The one thing about this can is sometimes when you try to undo it, see that time it came off easy. Sometimes it sets a turn to turn and you got to squeeze it and turn it to get it off. To me, that is the worst design ever. This sucks. Okay? Why well, can't? Why couldn't SureCan just put a regular old lid like this? A snap. Why couldn't they just put a snap lid on this? Think about it. The hose is already in the upright position. So gas isn't coming out. 
you're not squeezing the handle so from here over just put a snap lid on it I don't know sometimes it's the obvious that escapes us not to mention they would be a lot cheaper to uh, replace if it wore out but I can tell you this I I like the sure can I like how it works but I will never spend 50 some dollars for a gas can again unless it's like got bells and whistles on it and this doesn't so that's my gripe about that gas can and some of you may have had that trouble with them where you can't get the top off Justin said that was the one downfall about this can when he's in a hurry you can't get the top off of it but I don't really like this and there's got to be a better way to do this I mean seriously it's got a lock washer on the back and a bolt but that has got to have a better design. Look, not everything I use am I 100% happy with. But there's never going to be a product that you buy. And that's why there's never going to be a product you buy that you're going to say, man, that thing has never had has never done me wrong it's always started it's always done this it's always done that uh look i take care of my equipment for sure i i change spark plugs i change oil i put new filters i adjust the carburetors i do everything you have to do i keep everything as clean as i can from time to time uh, if it was nice out, 70 degrees, these mowers would be washed three times a week. But uh, not everything is perfect when you buy a product. So I just wanted to let some people know that uh, just because I use steel and I use Skag and I use a sure can and I use echo hedge trimmers doesn't mean I haven't had problems with all of those things green touch all of it it's all got a downfall it's all got things we don't like about it and uh, those are the things I don't like about my equipment anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this small video a couple yards there we did it is absolutely freezing cold, and uh, we're going to get home. Justin's got to go out and do a couple things here for me today, and then that's it for today. We'll be back out mowing tomorrow, and uh, as always, guys, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. I'm out of here.